What's up guys? So today's video I want to talk about meal replacement shakes, protein shakes for post-workout, and different absorption rates. So we're going to separate the protein shakes and protein sources into two categories, plant-based and non-plant-based, because we have a couple vegan viewers. So when it comes to plant-based protein sources, you want to focus on getting an overabundance of certain protein sources, for example, kale, broccoli, um, certain nuts and seeds depending on how high of a calorie diet you want to be in. And when it comes to non-plant-based, just be aware of the fact that you have to try and avoid certain high saturated fat foods because in the long run, it might not be the best thing for you unless you're trying to consume a high calorie diet. The other thing I want to talk about within those categories is the reason why plant-based protein is so hard to absorb and the reason why um, meat-based proteins, you know, dairy-based proteins are easier to absorb in the human body overall. The reason for that is because plant-based proteins don't have all the essential amino acids on their own. But if you do a mutual consumption of certain sources, you can get all nine essential amino acids within your system. The absorption rate might just be lowered, so you might have to consume a slightly higher amount or abundance of plant-based proteins. But the benefit is you get a lot more nutrients out of plant-based sources than you do out of meat-based sources, just vitamins and minerals overall. Meat-based sources already contain all the essential amino acids which your body needs to repair lean muscle mass, to recover any tissue, and for other bodily functions as well. But they, generally speaking, don't have as many nutrients per source as plant-based. Okay, so you have benefits and deficits on both aspects. Both sides of the spectrum, and then the last thing I want, the last two things I want to talk about was meal replacement shakes, how they work, why they work, and how they don't work and why they don't work. So when you use a meal replacement shake, you have to be aware that you have to use it efficiently. You can't add all sorts of foods to it. They're usually a little bit higher calorie than an average post-workout protein shake. They have a slower absorption rate than an average post-workout protein shake, and this is all on purpose. It's going to be a meal replacement. Not an addition to a meal, not um, something that you add and make a smoothie out of. They naturally have 250 to 350 calories. So those shakes usually have vitamins, 20 plus grams of protein, 20 plus grams of carbohydrates, and then 4 to 9 grams of fats. This is not a bad thing, but you have to understand the whole reason why they're efficient for most people is because if you don't add a whole lot to them or you don't add anything at all to them, Instead of eating that 600, 700 calorie meal, you're now going to be consuming a protein shake that has roughly 250 to 350 calories. So you're saving a lot of calories for the rest of the day in case you want to eat later on. And when it comes to consuming a post-workout protein shake, they're a lot lower calorie, but their protein source is usually a very bioavailable, readily available source of protein that will go right into your bloodstream in order to help your tissue start to recover and to get you to get your maximum benefit post-workout. Um, so whenever you try to decide exactly what's best for you, if you think you'd rather have a protein shake together with like an apple or maybe some nuts or maybe some grapes or whatever it may be, then do a post-workout shake. You can do it in the middle of the day and you're super perfectly fine. Now, if you're not really planning on eating for a while, maybe you're one of those people who skips breakfast or whatever it may be, in that case, you can go ahead and have a meal replacement shake if you know you're not going to eat for the next couple of hours and you want something that's going to keep your body well fed. If you have any, any more questions for me, please let me know down in the comments. Please share this video. Please tag your friends, whatever it may be. And I hope this was beneficial for you and helpful for you. Like the video, share it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.